Hey, Kofi, hope you're well, man. Um, just take me through the emotions of what you've had um, for the past you know, couple of weeks, get the suspension, have to sit, have to watch your team, and, and now to come back. Like, What have your emotions been through all of that? It's been up and down, um, you know, up and down in the sense where um, my team played really well. Um, as you can see, um, defensively, we're, we're the top team defensively right now. Um, you know, they did some really great things without me. And, that, you know, that, that gave me a lot of joy, and a lot of happiness. Um, on the flip side, I was angry because, you know, I wasn't able to be out there with them. Um, you know, three games is a long time when you when you haven't missed a game in two years, you know. So it was a lot of, like, mixed emotions, mixed feelings about it. But I'm back now, man. I'm good. I'm ready to go. What's your approach tomorrow uh, as you get back into the game um, and, and and try to, I guess you probably try to balance the emotions and, and just be yourself, but uh, how do you kind of approach it? Um, you know, I appreciate the same way we always do. Um, you know, we have, a, we have a plan for everybody. Um, you know, um, the guys go out there, they do what they do, and I do the same thing. You know, it's about execu executing, um, sticking to the script, and just letting the game come to you. Thanks, man. Hey, Kofi. So in the last week, I've seen you post a couple of things on your social media of you just kind of shooting perimeter jump shots or mid-range jump shots. How comfortable are you in that aspect of your game right now? I'm, I'm really comfortable with it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a basketball player. I'm not just a, a big guy that dunks the ball. I'm a basketball player, and I've been working on my game for a really long time. So, you know, it's just like just having the confidence to go out there, you know, like I said, letting the game come to you. I'm not forcing shots. You know, it's just playing the game the way it's supposed to be played. And then how much work did you kind of put into doing that this offseason, whether it was when you were in the NBA draft combine or the whole process or even coming back to Illinois? Because it's something that Coach Underwood's made it sound like you've put a lot of time in in the last couple of years and months. Yeah, it definitely a lot of time, man. Um, you know, I try to get it, get in um, so, some aspect of that game, um, you know, every day, um, at least for 35 or 40 minutes. Um, you know, sometimes it's longer. You know, sometimes we have practice and we, we put in some in practice. I don't have to go for that long after. But like whenever we have a day off, um, I always try to get like an hour and a half in there where I'm just doing short rolls, um, jump shots, you know, stuff that could expand my game. Thanks, Kofi. Appreciate it. Sir. Hey, Kofi, just how much was, you know, still being able to practice over the last couple of weeks, you know, important just to keep you connected sort of what the team was was doing, you know, for those first three games? Yeah, it was really important, man. You know, um, like I said, it was tough not playing in those games, but like being able to practice with the team and, you know, um, interacting with those guys, you know, um, leading them, you know, talking to them, motivating them at the same time. It was it was a good feeling, you know, it kept me level-headed. It kept me like, in a sense where, yeah, I'm still here. I'm not gone anywhere, you know, I'm still able to help them, um, not physically, but men mentally, you know, talking to them and you know, making sure that everybody is, is straight. Have you, you thought about, you know, what the, maybe the emotion will be, you know, the, for the first game, just then, yeah, especially after, you know, the sit the last three? I mean, it was it wasn't that it wasn't that tough, man. Like I said, um, you know, they did some really great things. Um, you know, I love the way that they, they played. They played really hard, and that's what we do, you know. So just watching them do that, especially young guys coming in and they, you know, they buy into that. You know, it, it was it was extremely fun for me to, to watch it. You know, be able to cheer them on and you know be on the other side for once. All right, thanks, Kofi. <clears throat> Kofi, uh, what kind of uh, maybe expectations do you put on yourself for Game One? Um, do you do you anticipate there might be a little rust? No, I don't think there will be any rust. Um, like I said, I've been working on my game a lot. Um, I've been put in a lot of um, situations over the past couple of days. I'm, um, you know, just preparing for um, Cincinnati. Um, I don't expect any rust. I expect I'll, I'll go out there and I'll try to dominate as much as I can. Um, I'll try to lead the team as much as I can, you know, defensively, just being up in that impact, you know, and try to win a game. And Coach Underwood mentioned you would need to let, to let the game come to you. How do you do that, especially since you've been chomping at the bit to be on the floor? Um, same way I always did, man. You know, I'm um, learning, learning composure. I'm um, learning to not rush, not rush shots and having like just, just, being, having, just being steady and you know, being level headed and not rushing th things, not letting emotions take over. I um, you know, just letting the game come to you where you take shots and you take good shots. Um, you make the right pass, you make the right decisions all the time. You know, just sticking to the script. Kofi, this may sound simple, but how much does the team change with you on the court? I'm a change a lot. You know, I'm a lot more aggressive. We're a lot more um, energetic, I would say. You know, I try to I try to bring that fire, that um, try to be pumped up and get guys, you know, to, to come by and come over with me. I mean, there's, there's a lot of energy, man. A lot more effort on the, on the re, um, rebounding side and better offense. Thanks, Kofi.
Hey, Kofi, I remember before, I think in ex- one of the exhibition games, you would talk about like replacing IO and the sense of having that, like that leader, that, that guy with kind of that, that mentality, like he had, what, what's your approach? I mean, do you try to absorb that? Do you try to, you know, foster it in other people? What's your approach there? Well, I've always been a leader. I've, um, you know, I think even since my, even my freshman year, I was a leader on the team. You know, I'm, I'm really vocal as, as people know. Um, I try to like, I'm, I'm emotional, um, you know, and I'm caring, you know, like these guys, I know how to, I know how to lead them, you know, I know each individual, um, you know, and I know how to talk to them, I know how to get them going, you know, so I've always been that kind of um, person, you know, but we had, when you have a lot of help, when you have guys like I, you have guys like Trent and Monte, your work becomes very easy, you know, um, now that I is going, I think we have to step it up a notch because we have new guys and we have freshmen, so it's definitely going to be more vocal, more, more vocal, more, you know, more like compassion, more help, you know, more, more talk, you know, more of everything. And obviously, Andre kind of struggled a little bit at Marquette. What, what was the comment? Did you talk to him at all in the last week? How did you kind of coach him through just that first maybe big teachable moment for him into this new role? I spoke to him. Um, I think Andre wants to win. He wants to win before everything else, you know. And, you know, guys make mistakes. You know, he's not he's not perfect. He's human. You know, so it's about, like, keeping your head, making sure that it doesn't affect you going forward, you know, make sure that what happened there stays there. We lost the game. That's one game down, you know, move on to the next. I'm just having that that moving forward mindset. Thanks, Kofi. Appreciate it. Hey, Kofi, I haven't had a chance to ask you since the suspension happened. Uh, just what went into the decision to sell gear when you did, and, and how did you feel about the suspension when it came down? I mean, selling the gear was just me. I, I, I was I was definitely 100% in going to the NBA. Um, so I just figured I would sell the gear. You know, like you know, get 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 some money, whatever. You know, whatever it was, just give people an opportunity to buy my, my buy my gear and stuff. I mean, it wasn't nothing crazy, you know, it was just, you know, things changed and I.O. came in and I decided to come back to college and, you know, that's, that's, that's what it was. And, and how did you feel when you got the suspension? Did you expect it? Were you upset? Well, um, I was upset, you know, but, you know, it, it is what it is. You know, we move forward. I'm back now and that's all that matters to me. You know, um, try not to let things bother me and try not to hung, hang my head, you know. Um, next game, moving forward, man. Thanks, Kofi. Kofi, following up on Joey's question, uh, one of the things that Andre seemed to miss very clearly in that game at Marquette was you clearing out the lane for him to drive or you being there to get a pass when his defenders closed in. Did you guys talk about that? Or were you aware of that? Yeah, we were. Um, he told me after we had the conversation that things are going to open up more when I'm on the court. Um, he said he, he told me he missed me and stuff. So he definitely gets it. He definitely gets to say it was tough, you know, especially like, since you know he's he's used to playing with me and he knows like I know I know where to be and I know what to do so he has he, he's gonna have a lot more confidence when I get back on the court. Thanks. Sir. Is that everything, guys? Yep. Thanks, Kofi. Kofi.